In this video I am going to show you how to create a procedural shader for an apple. If you want to follow along you can first watch last week's video about how to model an apple or download the blend file from the link in the description. Let's get started. I start by setting up my workspace. I need to open up a shader editor and an image editor to drop my reference image. Then I set a 3D viewport to render preview and disable scene world. I create a new material in the shader editor. The first thing I want to make are those vertical stripes. To do so I add a color ramp Noise texture, mapping node, and texture coordinates. I increase the scale and detail of the noise texture. To stretch it along the surface, I need to switch the mapping node from point to normal and scale it along the C-axis. Then I change the colors to yellow and red to make it look like an apple. I also switch the interpolation mode to B-spline and move the stops until it looks about right. The next step is to add those little dots. To achieve this I duplicate the noise and color ramp nodes and use the object coordinates. The scale of the noise has to be much higher. I also adjust the color ramp stops. Then I mix those dots with the stripes. I use lighten as the blend mode and slightly decrease the factor. Next I want to make this green part around the stalk. For this I need an ambient occlusion node and a color ramp. I set it to only local and increase the contrast by moving the black stop. Then I duplicate the mix RGB node, set it back to mix and use the ambient occlusion as the factor. Plug the red shader into the second input and change the first one to green. I also want to use the ambient occlusion as a mask for the roughness. For this I add another color ramp, use the ambient occlusion as the input and plug it into the roughness of the principled BSDF shader. I flip the color ramp and adjust the black and white values. This is the final note setup for the base of the apple. The next step is to make the material for the stalk. This is a pretty easy one. Make the base color dark brown and slightly increase the roughness value.
Add a bump node and use a Musgrave texture for the height. The scale of the texture has to be increased significantly. Also turn down the strength value of the bump. And our apple is finally done. That's it for today's video. I hope you can use the techniques I showed you for your own projects. If you have any further questions or feedback on this video, please leave a comment. Thank you for watching, see you in the next one.